Chong, we had a deal now. Open. Do you know what they call someone who enters a man's home uninvited? A thief. And I do not remember inviting you into my city. I had a deal with Su Chong. Yi Su Chong is my employee. It was not a deal he was authorized to make. What do you want? I granted Atlas and his thugs asylum. You serve those same men in a desire to escape from my generosity. If they shall not have asylum, then they shall have liquidation. Give a parasite an ounce of charity. He'll demand a pound. I'm just looking for a girl that was taken from me. A little sister. I don't claim to understand what you are. But I know that you are special. There is business we can do together. And so I give you a choice. Work for me or die with Atlas. I'm not going anywhere without that girl. If it's a little sister you want, that shouldn't stand in the way of commerce. I've got dozens of them. I won't leave without her. My men stand ready to take down the door. In 60 seconds, they will enter the room. They will either treat you as a valued employee of Ryan Industries, or as a thief in the night. 60 seconds. There must be half a dozen of them or more. I've got to get ready. Traps. I can use the plasmids as traps in it and seed the room with them. I gotta find somewhere to hide and, and surprise them. Take them down one by one. Booker, I'm scared. They'll underestimate you, Elizabeth. People always do. Forty seconds. You know what I see on your face? Uncertainty. Who is this girl to you? Thirty seconds. You know the value of the shark. Without them, the sea would be littered with the detritus of the weak. The men who come for you have much in common with those great animals. What sharks do for the ocean, these men do for rapture. Twenty seconds. I will tell you something you already sense. Atlas does not honor agreements. Andrew Ryan does. I cannot save your Sally, but I can save you. Time. You're not a hero. You're not even a parasite. You're just a room. And Andrew Ryan has no time.
I beat your sharks, Ryan. The better man won. Isn't that the only thing you respect? Now let me the hell out of here. What's your plan? I can't just place the particle on the ceiling, it would just tear right through it. But every building in Rapture was submerged into the ocean on the lunette ring, connected to the junction of its load-bearing supports. That's fascinating and all, but if you haven't noticed, Ryan sent his goons to murder us. If you're gonna pull a rabbit out of a hat, now's the time to do it. Looks like the structural junction is in Frank Fontaine's office. If I can get there, I can float the building. It so happens I've taken that bastard's office for my own use. I'll make sure you've access to the private elevator. Now hurry! Supposed to be a brunette. Anyone seen her? Look around! Ryan's built up considerable The rest of Atlas's crew are barricaded up that elevator shaft. You go. When the backup arrives, we'll go in. <laughs> Stupid jerk. Should have never stuck his neck out. imprint on the little brats. Yet Fink succeeded in imprinting his disgusting bird on his subject. How has Fink, this stupid man, succeeded where Su Chang failed? Now you're in the suit. If Su Chang could obtain her sample of Fink's subject, Su Chang could determine delta of genetic material with little sister. Proof is in DNA pudding. I know. And I'm ready. Are you sure? I sent myself here for a reason. Didn't I? And who exactly are you speaking to, Miss Comstock? If I were less acquainted with the vicissitudes of genius, I suspect I would question your sanity. I know so little of you, but I imagine the more I learned, the more exceptional I would find you. You know Atlas will betray you. And what are you? My best friend? You're one of a kind in this world. Or others. And now, your misguided sense of altruism sends you to your doom. It's like watching Isaac Newton die in a house fire. A vain attempt to save his cat. <laughs> 